Hey everyone, here's a quick video for Easter Sunday. Um, Happy Easter, Joyous Pax, Feuer Ostern, Ia Felice Pascuas. Um, so I did my last update on the barn door build and the reason I jumped over to this siding is because I want to use the scraps of the insulation on the door to beef up the barn door but not add any weight and also insulate the uh, door. So what I'm doing here on the exterior of the sheathing is we have our felt paper um, as our rain barrier, our WRB, wind rain barrier. And then I went with uh, R max. This is the plus three, so it's 3.5 R value. And we're putting that underneath the um, siding. And the reason we're doing that is to reduce the thermal bridging that happens um, through the studs. And we have a two by six wall. So with our uh, say the R19 insulation, you'll actually reduce to an R13.5 because 20% of your wall space is going to be the wood. So you you lose that um, energy efficiency in the insulation. So I'm going to put uh, continuous insulation, CI, across the whole sheathing, just like I did on the roof. And all the joy uh, joints get foil taped with, so they'll all be thermal bridged. Um, no thermal bridging, sorry. And we'll cover up all our fasteners so with foil tape so that we don't have any um, loss of heat. And um, I'm really excited about this because this is our south-facing wall. And when we turn this into a passive solar greenhouse, it'll heat like a, almost like a trom wall. It'll heat the, uh, the well house and then we can open the window to let the heat in from the greenhouse and then open the greenhouse and let it all air out through the clear story up um, into the, the well house. And so this is what the siding is gonna look like up to the window height, and then we'll switch to the cedar shake just like we're doing on the door. Um, so I'm really excited to get this little mock-up out just so I can take a peek at it and see what, what, what it's gonna look like um, in the real world. I know what it looks like on my drawings and in my mind, but this is how it's gonna roll. So. I'm really excited to do this um, just to increase the energy efficiency because we'll put rocks wall in the interior of the wall cavity and we'll get um it'll really keep the room at an average temperature whatever we determine is good working weather um so i can't wait to do this on the, the main house we're going to go with a um, much even thicker insulation and we'll really try to get the wall on the house to be extremely insulated um but anyway, that's what I'm getting into today. I'm just going to put up a couple more panels and be done with this wall so I can get back to the barn door and get it hung. Um, and um, that's about it. So hope you all check out the blog. I'm going to have some more write-ups on thermal bridging and the effects of not doing even the minimal, which is this is the minimal, 3.5. You want at least an R6 on your exterior uh, sheathing. So check out the blog. I'm going to show you some photos of what happens when you don't do it over the course of, say, 10 years and some examples of that. So check that out, and then I'll throw some recommendations in on the, uh, the insulation. So all right, y'all. Cheers. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching. Later.